Hello there everyone, this is Andre, the Game Idea Guy. Thank you very much for lending me your time and your ear and listening into another video and hearing some of the things I have to say. Um, so recently my kids got a gift over Christmas and this is it. Now, unfortunately it says age 15 plus but um, most of the get Actually, all of these games I've pretty much played, and I played, for the most part, all of them before the age of 10, <laughs> with the exception of maybe a couple of them that didn't come out until after I was 10. But, um, yeah, their uncle, my older brother, ended up getting them this for Christmas, and it's it's got its flaws and, and everything, and I'm just going to give you guys my general opinions on it. Now... Firstly, it is very compact. It is very, very small, so it'll fit just about anywhere, which is great. That's one of the best things about this is that it's so tiny. Um, it has 40 Sega Genesis games on it, built into it, and then another 40 games that I don't think were ever on the Sega Genesis all packed in it. So it has 80 games on it from Jump. That's awesome. Um, <clears throat> also, it comes with wireless controllers, like, these are the wireless controllers that come with it. Um, but you also have ports for the original Genesis controllers, which I still have mine. <laughs> so, I've got quite a few of them. I've got like six or seven Genesis controllers. Uh, I think only one of them doesn't work, though, because I think there's a short in the cord, but that's something that, that's not even really an issue to really worry about in this video. Um, you don't have like HDMI input, you have AV output and um, generally if you want to if you want your sound to come out of both uh, speakers on the television then you would need a, a like just like a um, a Y cable to split the sound. I mean I've got like tons of them so it's just I I have a brother who kind of got me interested in messing with sound and stuff on TVs a long time ago. So, like, I've got, like, three or four of the Y cables that I can just plug this into, and then I can plug it into both of the audio ports for the audio-visual. Uh, <clears throat> and its power cable is rather tiny as well, but I'm not going to unplug that because I still have everything plugged in for my kids. The only thing I removed was the the mini console itself. Um, <clears throat> now, in comparison to this, look, this thing is only about the size <laughs> of where the cartridges go on the actual Genesis. Um, and yes, it does play Genesis cart cartridges on it, but unfortunately, it doesn't play all of them. There are compatibility issues with some games. So, um, like, I have a few here uh, that didn't work. The first one that comes to mind that I have is X-Men 2 Clone Wars. It just did not work at all. Um, and on top of that, I personally have like half of the Genesis games that are on there and then some. So I'm not really... For Honestly, this wasn't something for me. My brother knew it wasn't for me. He went and got it for my kids. Actually, I was going to buy it for him. But when I, when I was walking through the store with him and I went to pick it up, he'd already said he got it. So I was like, oh, well... That's great. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this one I actually had hooked up to a Sega CD unit, so I was gonna, I just disconnected it just to show you guys the, the size comparison of the two. Um, <clears throat> now I'm gonna tell you guys the flaws of this thing. Firstly, the image quality, it's okay, but if you were to put that on the same TV as an actual Sega Genesis. The Genesis is much clearer. It's much crisper. It's a little bit brighter. It just generally looks better. And I'm not saying that to, to try to shoot this down. But it does generally just look a little bit better. And also, the sound quality on the At Games Sega Genesis... Horrible. 
I don't, I don't know. I guess it's because I got used to hearing it. Used to hearing my Sega, the Sega Genesis games one way, and then hearing that hearing it on on this, it just mm, it's. If you've never heard a Sega Genesis before, you're not going to know what's wrong with the sound on this. If you've heard a Sega Genesis and how the sound, how it sounds, this is vastly inferior. Vastly inferior. Um, also, it's nice that it has wireless controllers. But in order to be able to properly play any game, you have to make sure that this sensor is literally pointed directly at the console. Otherwise, your actions and movements will either lag or just not happen at all. Uh, another complaint I have about this controller is how it feels. The directional pad on it is horrible. It is so horrible on this thing. The buttons, though a little stiff, they feel okay. They're they're a little bit stiff, but they're all right. Then it's not like it's gonna kill anything. Um, it's also a little bit blocky in shape in comparison to the actual Sega Genesis six button controllers, because it just comes with six button controllers. But I don't know why they made it so thick here. And then shortened how the size is. I mean, it looks almost the same. If you're not, if you don't pay attention to them, if you look at them from a distance, it'll look like it's nearly in the same positions, but it's not quite. Um, this controller itself is definitely far more, far superior to this one. And if you do decide to get this thing, I, I would definitely suggest picking up wireless, not wireless, wired controllers. That way, you don't have to. <laughs> worry about the signal going uh, or not reaching the box while you're playing because uh eh, yeah it, with games the games on here like Mortal Kombat on there Sonic and a couple of the other games like um Jewel Master um Alex Kidd Golden Axe Streets of Rage a lot of these games need that precision <laughs> because if you don't have it you're either going to fail or basically you're going to get frustrated K Chameleon is another good example of a game most of the games on here really need that precision without having to worry about lag and things happening and this controller can definitely lag behind the game behind your your inputs with the game for like at least half a second and that's really slow so you're, you would, trust me, you'd be pissed. <laughs> I mean, it's got plenty of great games on it. I'm not going to knock that. It's plenty of great games on it. That's one of the best things on here. Out of the 40, out of the 40 Sega Genesis games on here, I'm just going to run through what, run through them in order across. You have Alex Kidd, Ultra Beast, Alien Storm, Arrow Flash, Bonanza Brothers, Shikana Forever Man, Columns, Columns 3, Comics Zone, Crackdown, The Cap Attack, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, Echo the Dolphin, Echo Jr., E-SWAT, that was one of my favorite games when I was younger, uh, Fatal Labyrinth, Flicky, Game Ground, Golden X, Golden X2, Golden X3, Jewel Master, Kid Chameleon, Rise Star, Shadow Dancer, Shinobi 3, Streets of Rage, Run 1 through 3, Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic Spinball, Sonic the Hedgehog 1 and 2, The Ooze, Vector Man 1 and 2, Virtual Fighter 2, Mortal Kombat 1 through 3. Those are all the Sega Genesis games that are on here. And they're great games. The problem is this controller causes lag issues with the with playing. And it'll make these good games feel like bad games in the, in the mind of a person who's never actually played on an actual Sega Genesis before. Now... <clears throat> Like I said, if you buy it, I'd recommend get, like go on eBay or something and get the wired controllers. Because you're going to horribly suffer without those wired controllers. Um, okay, my kids kind of needed me, so I had to stop for a second. Um, Alright, uh, I think the last thing I was saying was if you decide to get the At Game Sega Genesis, that you should definitely look into getting wired controllers. 
Um, another thing is to be aware of the fact that not all cartridges will work with it. Um, and I didn't even talk about the systems, the consoles, um, features to itself. Obviously, with no game, no cartridge in it, you boot it up, you'll come up to a list of games. There's like 10 games per page. Uh, you use the controller to navigate it. Uh, whether It depends on if you have, well, you can use these controllers to navigate it, or if you have wired controllers plugged in, you can use those to navigate it as well. Um, on the console is a menu button that will allow you to jump out of whatever game you're playing and you can bring up the games list to pick another game that menu button is also on this controller is right at the top uh, <clears throat> when a cartridge game is in the console the menu button then becomes the reset button instead of the menu button so you can use that button to reset a game uh, I'm not exactly certain if it works that way completely because I know the the Genesis game X-Men had a special usage of the reset button once you got to a certain point and I have yet to test this out to see if it does exactly what it's supposed to do and if it doesn't then you would need to cheat the game in order to be able to get to the end of it in that one game I don't think there are very many other Genesis games that use the, the reset button in a special way like that I wish more did uh, <laughs> more games need to be a little bit more more games need to incorporate you in the real world a little bit more in my own personal opinion but that's a video for another time uh, <clears throat> um it's really if you're going to get it do it if you don't actually have a sega genesis if you don't have a sega genesis then this will be a decent buy for you but you have to go in knowing that there are flaws to it <laughs> like, don't expect it to be exactly like the Sega Genesis that you remember if you've had one before. If you've never had a Sega Genesis before and you are interested in some of the games that the Sega Genesis has, this is probably going to be your best introduction to the Genesis. And generally, you can find it for like 20 bucks, depending on where you're going. Um, some places, I think it's still 40 bucks at some places. But generally, when you buy this 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 little this device, you can find it for twenty dollars, depending on what store you go into or where you shop online when you look for it. I know if you go to At Games website, I'm pretty sure it's still forty bucks. Don't go to them to buy it <laughs> if you're trying to save money. Don't go to them to buy it. Uh, <clears throat> but I mean, for all intents and purposes, it it does what it's supposed to do. I mean, I might have my personal gripes with the controller a bit, but it works. It's It works perfectly fine if you can keep your arms still and keep them pointed at the, at the console. If you can't keep yourself still and have your hands pointed at the console, you are going to be very disappointed. <laughs> and like I said, this D-pad to me is horrible. This is not a D-pad that is good for fighting games, even though there are fighting games on here. I would definitely, like I've said several times already, I would really, really suggest anybody who's getting this to get uh, <laughs> to get the uh, wired controllers. But outside of that, I mean, it's a it's a decent buy if you really just want to get into the the old sixteen bit games that the Sega Genesis had. They're not going to look as pretty as on the actual Genesis. But they work well enough. And I mean, it, it's going to be even more grimy on an HD TV because of the fact that it's being stretched and spread far beyond its own resolution. So it's a, it'll, it's something to, to think about. Um, I don't know what else to say for it. Uh, it's definitely a good attempt to revive the Genesis, though I don't think that it was the best attempt to revive the Genesis because honestly an emulator on the computer actually does better to play the Genesis games than this does and 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 that's because it's meant to emulate the exact chipset of the Genesis whereas this doesn't have the exact chipset of the Sega Genesis which is why there are several problems um, 
But um, I think that's really it. Uh, again, if I I would say buy it if you really just haven't either haven't played Sega Genesis games and are interested in them, or you used to have a Sega but you don't have one now. Because if you still have a Sega Genesis or a Mega Drive, you're going to be disappointed in this. If you don't, it's not an issue to you. So that's really it. Thank you guys very much for listening. Keep your eyes and ears up for more of my stuff. And until the next time, enjoy your games. Peace out.